everyone, and thank you for joining us on the Oshkosh Capital Connection, your source for getting a feel of what our state legislators and lawmakers are doing in Madison and how it affects us here in our city of Oshkosh. I'm your host, Emily Springstro, and today we have Representative Gordon Hintz in the studio to tell us a little bit of background about uh, who he is, where he came from, how long he's been in his position, um, and then also tell us a little bit about some of the projects that he's working on. So with that, I'd like to introduce Representative Gordon Hintz. Welcome, Gordon. Thanks for having me, Emily. Yes, it's great to have you. Um, it's always exciting to have a few minutes of our lawmakers' time to come in the studio and tell us a little bit about what's been going on. So before we get into what you've been working on, why don't you give us a little bit of background on um, what inspired you to become a representative and uh, you know what, what is the, the path that led you to where you are now? Sure. Well, um, you know, I think I grew up in a family where public service was something that um, you know, both my parents were uh, professors and my dinner table as a kid was always one where they discussed things that were going on. We we're always sort of very interested, whether it was local or state or global. Um, you know, and I became interested and believe that there's positive things and we need good people to, to serve. Um, studied political science in college, uh, went out to Washington, D.C., worked for Senator Cole out there, um, came back to graduate school in Wisconsin, uh, worked in state government and then got interested in local government. and. Uh, kind of reached a point where I realized how connected state government and local government are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and originally really ran to try to make the state a, a better partner working with, with Oshkosh and with Winnebago County. And that sort of was my, my entrance into things. Um, and, uh, you know, it's been an interesting ride. Definitely. And so as a representative, you are responsible for the city of Oshkosh. Maybe kind of educate us a little bit about yeah, what, your, so, what your district is. Yeah, so, you know, um, I'm one of 99 in the state assembly. I have the 54th assembly district. It is, um, each of us represent about 58,000 people. So I have almost the whole city of Oshkosh, except for the very northern part, I think, between Harrison and Grove, north of um, um, Murdoch and then uh, a little bit north of Smith, I don't have it either. But on the western side and on the southern side of the city, I have the border. So there's a couple houses that are Algoma or Black Wolf. Mm -hmm. I don't have those, but I have the Oshkosh properties. So just the city. And what's it like having uh, such a centralized location that you're able to represent um, in your position? Well, I mean, for me, it's great um, because I have one school district, one city, one county. Um, and it allows me to really stay in touch and evaluate how policies we're doing at the state level impact, you know, locally. But mm -hmm. I have colleagues that represent the same number of people, but maybe their district is 200 miles wide because it's rural. Mm -hmm. And they probably have dozens of municipalities, towns, villages, different school districts. And they may have a time where uh, a vote might be good for one of their areas and bad for another area. And I think that's a little more complicated. But for me, um, you know, it's been great. I think it's a little easier to be able to connect with your constituents as well. There are yeah. some districts that, you know, they're not even aware of some of the places that may be on the other side of the district and they might not be a natural region that identifies with itself. Mm -hmm. So you feel that the relationship with the city of Oshkosh is very strong because it is really your only municipality that you're dealing with. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think people, you know, um, my colleague Representative Shraz got mm -hmm. the northern part of Oshkosh and sort of wrap around, but we were, we're sort of the Oshkosh caucus. There's, there's two of us. So. Definitely. Excellent. So right now you're technically um, not in session and so you're, I guess you can call it a little bit of a summer break. Tell us what you've been working on and some of the, um, the goals that you're looking at moving forward. Sure. Um, there's sort of an ebb and flow to the two-year cycle. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we're in a campaign year. It's something we do. Uh, I'm, I'm also the Assembly Democratic leader so there's been a little more responsibility uh, both in terms of dealing with uh, my colleagues uh, legislatively and campaign wise. Um, but now is the time that there's legislative study committees, so there are uh, members on both sides as well as people in the state that are working at revising statutes, um, studying issues that might be um, complicated and they usually re make recommendations and then those things become bills and hopefully they have the support because they've kind of been studied. Um, we look back on a lot of issues, um, we try to find things that we want to get done in the next session. So there's a drafting process, mm -hmm. you know, now's the time to kind of be vetting proposals, updating things, but it's also a time to be spending more time in the district, setting up meetings. Now is sort of when I do my check-ins with, um, you know, community leaders, business mm -hmm. leaders, local government, 
Um, you know, I've still got to sit down with a new fire chief. We got a new superintendent, new United Way director, um, really building those relationships, finding out what's happening in the community, and then um, thinking about what it is we can get done and how to kind of build support. So, um, you know, there's no shortage of things to do. Uh, you're usually in district more than you're down in Madison, which is nice. Um, but you know, if you're smart, you're being proactive, and more work now, you know, makes it easier to get things done when it gets busy again. Yes. Well, it sounds like you're definitely keeping busy while you're here in Oshkosh. There's no shortage of things to do. Uh huh. Are you, um, you know, available and out and about in the community at different events and things like that as well? Yeah, and I, you know, um, I, I've dedicated office hours at the senior center. Mm -hmm. uh, try to make myself available. We've done office hours at the farmers market. You know, which I'm just at a table. Um, you know, not there to campaign, but rather answer questions because there's so many people there. I will end up talking for five hours, and it's a it's a great opportunity. But but people um, in Oshkosh have been great. You know, supporters, detractors, people with questions. I'm happy you know, if they want to talk to me at the grocery store. I'm I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. If I need to <laughs> shop and get home, I'll go at 10 o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I never turn down an opportunity, and uh, you know, I love being involved in the community. Wonderful. Um, and then I guess one more other, one other question would be when you do get back into session, are there any highlights or main things that you're going to be focusing on going back in? Well, um, you know, again, as uh, you know, the minority leader, um, you know, it's I've got a different responsibility and kind of steering a lot of different people's priorities. Okay. But, um, you know, clearly uh, I want to advocate for the city. I know that we have seen that you know, the city's ability to raise revenue has been less than what inflation has been, and it's being harder and harder for them to be able to make the kind of quality of life investments and be able to, you know, take care of core services. So there are bigger items, same with our university system, which has kind of been under some pretty tight cuts in years. So you want to find ways, the budget's the biggest thing we do, so you want to find ways to try to uh, find funding, give flexibility that reflect the challenges that we have. But obviously there's individual legislation. I was successful in getting funding for counties like Winnebago who brought to my attention the increase in communicable diseases that we've seen and their lack of resources to both uh, educate, treat, uh, and prevent. So a lot of the things that I work on tend to be things that are um, you know, highlighted to me as needs. Mm -hmm. And again, some of those are bigger. And there's some issues you, you work on for years and you just push and push and push. Some issues you're playing defense on and you're trying to prevent happening. Um, but others, you know, like the dark store issue, which continues to be something that the legislature has not fixed. Um, we, you know, we can't give up on that and uh, hopefully we'll continue to make a big push. Definitely. So a lot of things that we're looking forward to um, and we'll probably be hearing more from you about in the future as well on future episodes of the Oshkosh Absolutely. Capital Connection. Um, so if anyone's interested in reaching out to you or talking to you, where can we contact you? Sure. Um, you can contact me at home, uh, but you can also contact my office. They are probably the fastest, best place, especially if you have a question. Um, we do casework. Uh, if it's not a state issue, happy to point you in the right direction. If it's a local issue or a federal issue, uh, really just want to be there for, for folks and, and do our best to, again, um, either answer their question and steer them in the right direction, email, um, letters. And of course, you're active on Facebook as well if anyone's interested in keeping tabs Absolutely. on what you're up to. Absolutely. <laughs> try, to, try to keep it fresh and yes. uh, make it easier to follow. But all the avenues that are, are there exist for us. and. Uh, really um, welcome and encourage that kind of interaction. Wonderful. Well, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the first uh, episode of this series, the Oshkosh Capital Connection, Gordon, and we look forward to having you back again soon. Great. Thanks so much. And thank you again to our viewers for tuning in to the Oshkosh Capital Connection and getting plugged in on what our lawmakers are doing down in Madison. Uh, you can like and share this episode on Facebook. Uh, just reach out to Oshkosh Media, check out our YouTube channel, um, and you can watch and share this series, as well as other government updates and community videos. You can also watch us on Spectrum Cable Channel 10, at and verse Channel 99. We are now on Apple TV or live on our website at oshkoshmedia.org. So once again, thank you for joining us on the Oshkosh Capital Connection, and we'll see you next time.